summertime is here, so we all have beach trips on the mind. So we're going to be showing you how to make some great beach cover-ups, starting out with a very simple project and moving on to more complex projects. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this super simple beach skirt. This skirt is really just a long rectangle of fabric, so you can decide this morning that you need a cover-up and have it ready to wear by the time you're ready to head to the beach this afternoon. I'm going to finish the edges with a rolled hem and show you two options for two different looks. First, let's take some measurements to create our pattern. Determine how long you want the shortest part of this skirt to be and write down that measurement. Then measure around your waist and write down that measurement. You will need a 60 inch wide piece of lycra fabric folded in half. Make sure you choose a super stretchy fabric with the greatest stretch across the width of the fabric. Measure on the folded edge of the fabric the first measurement, which is the shortest part of the skirt, and mark it with a pin or tailor's chalk. Now measure from the folded edge one half of your waist measurement and mark that with a pin or tailor's chalk. Cut out the rectangle of the fabric, the full 60 inch width of the fabric on the fold. If you are a larger size, you may want to cut two widths the length of the first measurement and piece them together along the short side. You can then adjust the length later. Now I will show you two options for finishing the edges. Set up your serger with a three thread rolled hem using designer in the needle and soft lock in the loopers. Soft lock is a woolly polyester thread which makes it ideal for finishing edges as the natural expansion of the thread provides great coverage of the raw edges. The polyester content makes it great for beachwear as it is color fast and can withstand sun and moisture and remain a beautiful color. Do a test run on a scrap of your fabric and make sure your differential feed setting allows the fabric to run through without stretching. The thread that will be in your needle is called Designer, a 40 weight all-purpose polyester. You want to make sure you're using a thread such as Designer that's made for garment construction and is strong with some flexibility, rather than a thread with little flexibility such as cotton. For the first option, you need only serge around all four edges of your rectangle for a perfect finish. For the second option, you can create a fun wavy edge by stretching the fabric in front and back as you sew to create a wavy lettuce edge. Once you have finished the edges as desired, snip the thread tails at the corners and dab with a small amount of fray check. Allow to dry. If you are a larger size with the pieced version, Pin the fabric rectangle around your waist. Then determine how long you want the front to hang and cut down the rectangle to that size before you finish the edges. Now fold your rectangle again and place a pin at the marked waist measurement. Pin out at a sharp angle from this point, from the top edge to the bottom. If you want to test the fit, baste along this line and slip it on. A sharper angle will help to accommodate fuller hips, and a lesser angle will give a form-fitting skirt. Load your machine with designer in the top and the bobbin, and with wrong sides together, stitch along this line, backstitching at each end. And that's all there is to it. When you get up from your beach chair, just pull on this skirt and you're ready for your sunset stroll. Tune in next week when we'll show you how to make a great beach tunic using the decorative stitches on your domestic machine. We'll see you all next time.